So, what are group sound? There is a lot of background noise, uh, yes. like some fan or something. Yes, just turn it. Now it's okay? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So, group function. So, first group function is max, second is min, third is avg, fourth is sum, fifth is standard deviation and sixth is variance. variance right so what are group functions yeah. what do you mean by function function means function always return a single value so we have already discussed about single row function so what single row function are they will take single value as an input and give a single value as an output now in case of group function there will be multiple input right so multiple value we will provide multiple values as the input and it is response because function always return a single value you will get a single value okay so right. first is maximum means you have multiple salaries and uh, uh, means uh, means on the on that all multiple salaries you have to find it out that what is the maximum salary among them same like min min will give you the minimum salary among all the salaries and average will give you the average of those salaries so in that case you are able to see there are multiple value you need to input right in that okay. response you are getting a single value right like that sum will give you the summation of all the values and this standard deviation will give you the standard deviation of value which you will provide and variance will give you the variance now these okay. are purely arithmetic right these are these two are purely arithmetic i will explain this topic by using these functions so first okay. is how you will use them so i have written here select min and you have to pass multiple value as salaries are multiple values in employees table th that's why we have right. uh, that's why I have passed that salary into that mean value max salary salary right comma average salary comma and another one is count count is also a group function right seventh is count right. count right so okay. next is average sum sum salary thereafter count salary from employees right so this will give you the result means 4000 is the minimum salary 83000 is the maximum salary 16393.5565 is the average value and 20 uh, 2 lakhs 26000 no 22 lakh 6 62310 is your sum summation of all these salary. and counting of salaries are 138 means there are 138 entry in your count uh, in your salary column right right so as you you can see you have given multiple input as a salary and you are getting a single value as a output so as function always right. return a single value in case of group function you need to pass multiple value but in case of uh, single row function you need to pass a single value on it right so next is right. what counting is giving you a number of salaries present in that particular column right so if I am I want to see okay. how many rows are there in my table so I will do select count and star from employees 
right? So you will get the number of rows. There are 141 rows. What it's mean? You are getting only 138 salaries are there in that salary column. But there are three are null. Yes, three are null. Select star from employees where salary is null. Right? So these three people have null salaries. There are no value in that salary column. Now, right. what conclusion you are getting with by this statement? By comparing your number of rows in your table and the number of salaries in your salary column. So the conclusion is there are three salaries. Those are null. And that's why this count function is not picking that three values. Right? So what it's mean, group function always ignores null value. Right? Even you can see that okay. average function is giving you the value, some value. But as I have told you that okay. uh, when you are doing any arithmetic operation with that null value, then the result will also be null. Right? Okay. So if that group function is taking that null value as well in its counting, then this value must be null. Right. But, right. But because right. group function always ignores null null value, that's why you are getting some value here. Right. If they okay. they they consider that null value in their arithmetic operations, then you will get null there. Because any arithmetic right. operation with a null value result in another. Got my point. So point must be clear. Yes. Group function always ignores null value. Right. So whenever you are doing okay. any arithmetic operation related to either it is related to group function or any other arithmetic option, then you need to take care about that null values. Right. So okay. my question is whether this average is correct or wrong. You are an analyst. Tell me whether I, this. I need to do. I need to need to go on a calculator. No, 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 no. I'm, you need not to do that thing. Just whatever the whatever the logic okay. I have told you right now, you just have to implement the same okay. logic here. That's why I am asking if this average is not considering that three people those have three null values, then tell me whether average is that, not correct. Yes, average is not. No, it's not correct. Yes, because. When you are calculating, when you are calculating any average, would it mean the summation of all the salaries divided by divided by the number of salaries? So, yeah. if you are calculating the average for all the tables, right? All the all the employees, those are working in that particular organization. Yeah. Then you need to take I means you need to divide by that summation with 141, not by 138. 141. Right. So right. what what you will do? Just think about. I am just coming within two okay. minutes. Okay. Hello. Yes, tell me what you will do to correct that. Yeah. Um, one thing is that I can uh, do my own average calculation, uh, like uh, sum of all salary divided by this count of star. Then what is the use of using these function? If you have to do all that hectic activities, then what is the purpose of writing this average function? Mm -hmm. Uh, you I'm have, not sure. You have gone through all the topics, whatever I have taught you in last last week. No. Nope. Why? <laughs> Sorry about that. Actually, I just started my job, uh, so uh, much busy there. Just you have. Didn't get the chance to review these okay. things. So I have. Just a minute. Just a minute. Just a minute. What I am saying, uh, in my last lecture, what I have told you, I have told you some general functions as well. 
right okay okay so when i am saying this select average salary from employees then we will get a wrong output wrong output right okay so how to rectify this output because this average is taking only 138 as as a division okay right so i need to divide by divided by 141 so what i will do i will use a group function i will use a general function that i have told you in my last class nvl comma 0 what it mean if salary is null then the value will be replaced with 0 so we, you are adding any value with 0 then you will get the same value but in in division that value will be included got my point right right so instead of coming null there uh, the null value will be replaced with 0 0 will be added by anything you will get the same value but that will be included in your division part because there is some value there zero is there right because group functions are not including that null okay. in their uh, observation right so you are getting this value so this is the right, right this is the right average so make a habit to write your average by this manner always if you're writing any okay. average okay. anywhere in your program then you need to write that average in this manner only right got it okay next thing is select department id comma and average salary need not to means i'm just writing as average you not to confuse right means if I am writing average this mm -hmm. like this manner then this is same just like writing this because it will include that null values as well right this is not anything means extra, okay. right so I am calculating that average from employees so tell me whether this statement will work or not I'm not confusing with this are you not confusing with this right in not to confuse with this. No, this, okay. this, this, yeah. this, is, this is just an average, right? Hmm. Okay. So right. Tell, tell me whether you will get any yeah. output from this statement or not. Means uh, in in second uh, word whether this think, state, whether this statement will work or not. Yeah. No. Why? Uh, because uh, there is a single value, and then we are putting the group function there as well with it. Yes, exactly. We need to so, uh, use the group by function. Yes, not a single group function. So whenever you are using a single column with your group function, then that single column, whatever the number of single column you are using with that group function, you need to include all those columns with in group by clause. Group, group by. by group by department ID. Got it? So it will, first of all, it will make the grouping of all the department and it will give you the department by summation or some department wise average of those cells, right? So there's one department with the null value as well? Yes, yes. One department ID has null value as well, right? Set. right one department has none right so the next question is if there are many more depart many more single columns as well suppose there are job ID as well right so you need to include that job ID as well in your group by clause right this point okay. is clear right so any means any more number of column except that group function are present in your selected statement you need to include all those columns in your group by clause okay so 
if you have not included that group job ID in your group by clause, even then your statement will not work. Got my point? Okay. So I will remove this thing. Right? So next point is I want to get the number of means the detail of employees, the detail of employees, those have average salary greater than or equal to 10,000. So what I will write, those have average salary greater than equals to 10,000. I just want to display those number of departments detail. Okay. Those have average salary greater than or equal to 10,000. So what I will do? You, we can put the the average uh, complete group function average in the where clause as well, and we can put the equal value or greater than ten thousand, like this, huh? Where and this complete is greater than equals to ten thousand, like this, no? Group by is coming at the end of the the uh, select state. like this huh? yeah and this will not work okay why we can give the alias we can give the alias to it and then we use the alias no you cannot use where clause with group functions right you okay need, you need to use having and having will be after group by okay. having right point to be noted okay. you must be use having clause right you cannot use right. that where clause with your group functions right you need to use okay. group by thereafter the having clause and having clause with the last clause of that particular program right okay. that particular query so you can see you are getting all those many number of uh, details those have uh, average salary greater than 10,000. Point is clear? Right. Yeah. Okay. So the next thing is the point arise whether I can use where clause or not. The question we can is, use the where clause but yeah. But the group function cannot be used with the where clause. We can put the where clause on department ID or some other criteria. Yes, where but that where clause must be used above to the group by clause. Where department okay. ID is greater than thirty. Right? Okay. Now the question is if I okay. want to short if I want to if I want to short this output right on the basis of this group function then I will use order by means means whenever I want to short my output on the basis of any column I will use uh, order by and thereafter the column name whatever the column name are. So I want to shut it out means uh, in ascending by default it is on ascending order either I will write ASC or not it will assume that it will be on ascending order so uh, I, I have used that order by clause and thereafter the column name so you can see that has means short on the basis of um, average selling right you can yeah. use this shorting on sim in following ways as well you just remove this one right and you will write department meant ID as well right on the basis of department ID you you will short your output even you can write on right. this manner as well the third way 
suppose there are some aliasing of this particular average so I have given AVG cell AVG cell right so I can write order by AVG cell what is your age Azim? 34 I am 38 <laughs> nice nice so kabhi kabhi mein agar daant to uska bura mat maan thik hai you are my teacher I don't want to bura maan thik hai to ye hai uh, we can short it uh, means we can short it out on the basis of Elias name as well okay okay so order by alias name but point to be noted if you have put your alias in double quotes then you need to put your alias in order by clause within in same double quotes right right so next thing is next way to sh way of shorting is even you can write like this order by two as well right okay order by two what does it mean order by two second column yes in second column in this select statement right so order by two means okay. if I'm writing order by one then it will be shorted or on the basis of department ID if I'm writing order by two what does it mean I'm shorting my output on the basis of average right right so these are the way to use your group function and group by n having clause and order by clause I think it is clear okay okay yep next thing so is the group function is not only used with the where clause but it can be used in a having clause right right if you want to pose any restriction on that group function then you need to use that restriction with your having clause not with where clause not with where clause Okay, so if you want to apply any restriction with single column, then you need to pose that, I um, mean, that apply that restriction with where clause, not with having clause. Where clause, right? Means uh, means okay. many of many of people will confuse whether I will use having or where or what I will use. So a thumb rule is right. if you are if you are implementing if you are uh, uh, imposing any rest restriction on group function, then you need to use having clause, and that having clause will come after group clause. Okay. Group by clause, right? Alright. Okay. Give me a second. Okay. So the next topic is subquery right so suppose I want to find it out the detail of all the employees those have salary greater than Azim salary right okay. so first of all I have to find it out what is the salary of Azim salary from employees where last name is equals to assume right this will okay. give you the salary of assume this point is clear okay. I think now yep. you have to pass that salary to your outer query right so what you need to write here okay. where where salary is greater than this and whatever the above statement select select employee ID 
I have a, I I am writing this query on in reverse order, right? To explain you what is the subquery. Okay. Comma last right name. Comma salary. Comma job ID from employees, right? Thereafter okay. where. Where where salary is greater than whatever the next query. So this is if you are writing any query where a query coming in south inside another query. So the this query okay. will call as subquery. So here you can see this is a query. This is called outer query. Another query is coming inside that query. This is called inner query. Right. So first okay. of all, inner query will be executed. Thereafter, outer query will will be executed. What it means the the output of inner query will be the input for outer query. Okay. Right. So if I am writing this in this, so select employee underscore id comma last name comma salary from job id from employees right where employee underscore id is supposed to 102 right so um, okay. okay right so the salary is 12,170 okay. I will pass this as a subquery so what I will do this is the query okay This is the query. No, I will write from employees, right? Ah, employees where salary is greater than equals to. Select salary from employees. Right. So here you can see what I am doing. I have written 102 here. Right. So 102. You are getting salary okay. here. You are getting salary here. Salary. Whatever the salary you will get from this inner query that will be passed as the output of this. Uh, sorry. Whatever the uh, whatever the output get you will uh, get. Whatever the output you will get from this inner query query that will pass as an input to outer query so suppose this query returning this 1217 so this whole query will be replaced on runtime with this 12170 so what a statement will uh, become this statement will become select employee id last name salary job id from employees where salary is greater than equals to 12170 Right. So those many people have salary greater than equals to this. All those output you will get. So you are getting 34 outputs. So 34 people have salary greater than 12,170. So you can see right. I am writing a query inside another query. This type of query are called subqueries. This point is clear. Right. What is the main purpose of uh, this subquery? Means uh, giving the variable uh, value during the query. Yes, giving the means uh, if you want to pass a variable value or unknown value uh, during the query, then you have to write means this subquery, this subquery type of query, right? Sometimes you don't have any other option. Here you can see you do not know what is the salary of this one zero two, right? Right. So you have calculated on runtime and automatically that query will be passed as the input for this outer query. 
right right so another option you have that you will first of all write a query you will find what is the salary thereafter you will write here one two one seven zero directly that is not a good way right right but another thing is with drawback with subquery uh, subquery always decrease the performance of your database right means this type of query okay. have not good performance right here you can see first of all to okay. getting this 102 it is doing full table scan right okay and thereafter for getting this 12170 for whole the table from whole the table it is again doing a full table scan so a single query is doing two full table scan that is not a good practice right right but sometimes you don't have any other option except writing this subquery only but whatever the okay. thing you are writing with this subquery you can even write with joins as well tomorrow we will discuss joins so you can write join as well whatever the thing you you are able to write with subquery you are also able to write with join Jub joins have good performance compared to subquery right but again okay. I am re repeating sometime you don't have any other option except writing subquery right so that's why okay. subquery are present here so now you can see if I am writing this if I am writing this equals to greater than greater than less than right greater than equals to less than equals to and this is the symbol for not equals to this is the symbol for not equals to so all these operators are to handle a single value on the right side Here you can see Okay. If there are two people, those have uh, last name Azim, then you are you will get two value from this query, right? Okay. So you can see what I have did here. I have very cleverly I have used employee ID, right? Instead of using any name. Okay. Right. So what I have did here, suppose I mean suppose I will use any name here, right? So what I will do there last name is equals to Mishra. So what you are getting? Single row subquery returns more than one row. Because there are more than two people, those have last name Mishra. Right. Okay. So this this inner query is returning more than one value. Right. Up to the time when this inner query is returning only single value, then we can use this single value comparison operator. Okay. Right? If your inner query is returning more than one value, then these all operator will giving you an error because they are not meant to handle more than value value. right so if your okay. inner query is returning more than one value then you are not able to use this single value comparison operator for that you need to use okay. multi value comparison operator any first of all is in is any thereafter all there are three multi value comparison operator in any on okay. all, all. Now, as you can see, I have written this is greater than equals to this, right? So you you will receive one value because only one people have equal salary of that. But the same this, okay. if I will replace this with this equals to, because there are more than one uh, employees, those have last name Mishra, then I'm not able to use this equals to operator here. So I need to replace this equals to operator with multi value comparison operator and the replacement of multi value comparison operator is in. If by chance there will be only one mission on the table then the above query will be work? Yes, it will work. Okay. 
right so in this case i have replaced this equals to the single value comparison operator with a multi value in operator one multi value comparison operator that is in operator so the replacement of is equals to is in so suppose there are multiple values are coming from this suppose there are one mishra is here it has 51000 another mishra is 50000 right even you can write like this as well you you can write a group function as well suppose you have written this and you have written select max means max salary from employees right up to this time it will work where salary is equals to or greater than greater than up to this time this will work no row select okay salary by okay there there will be no salary greater than max salary so uh, i will replace with is equals to so rawat has salary 83000 okay but the same query if i will replace the same query group by department id right the same query i have replaced with means what i am doing first of all i am Group grouping partner. on the basis of department id thereafter i am getting the maximum value for all individual department id so single query because this inner query is returning more than one row see if i will run this separate query only so you will get multiple values so what is the maximum value in this query note it down somewhere 83000 okay and what is the minimum value that is 4400 4000 right note it down somewhere right so okay. the replacement of this will be equals to will be in in so what happened this inner query will be replaced with all these values so what will happen the salary in uh, means the salary will be 7000 or 12008 or 11000 83000 or 10000 24000 or means that all will be assumed by placing or in between so whatever the okay. salary will be matched all those employees detail will be displayed on the terminal okay the point is if the inner query is returning more than one row and you are replacing is equals to then you need to use in operator so right you will get all those result right but if there is means if there is means in spite of putting this is equals to if there is greater than or less than then suppose i will replace with this average right if there are greater than then you are getting this error so if i will run this individual so what are the average salary department id wise right so the maximum is maximum is maximum is 43083 note it down 43083 i will okay. uh, display the further example on the basis of these value only and the minimum is 4400 4400 right so if you want to replace this is equals to with with group function sorry with uh, multi value comparison operator then you have to use this is equals to with in and any and all so you can write this greater than any right or greater than all greater than all right and greater than any 
Uh, I didn't get this thing. Please. I am coming. I am coming one second. Right. And less than all. And less than n. Right. So what I am saying, if you want to replace any value, any multi-value comparison operator with greater than or less than or greater than equals to less than equals to then you need to use them with in or any comparison operator right okay. they will they will use in combination with greater than or less than okay right so if I am writing greater than all right so it what it means greater than largest value means greater than all means it must be greater than all the values those are coming from your inner query right right if you are saying greater than any so what it's mean greater than smallest means whatever the smallest okay. value in that uh, inner query means your inner query is giving then that will be greater than that in the smallest value if I'm saying less than all see what it means smallest smallest uh, then the minimum right if I'm saying less than any then the smallest then then largest right so uh, when I'm saying greater than all when I'm using greater than all means greater than largest so it must be greater than 43,083 right so okay. if, if I'm saying greater than all so need to understand if you are replacing greater than or less than then you need to use either all or any in combination with greater than or less than so when I'm saying greater than okay. all so it will display you all the details of employees those have salary greater than 43,083 something right okay point is clear or not yep so you can see you are getting all those employees detail those have salary greater than 43,083 right okay next point is if I will replace this all with any any so what I have I have written here greater than any means greater than smallest so whatever the smallest value there what was the smallest value there 4400 4400 right so it must be greater than 4400 so you can see you are getting all those employees details those have salary greater than 4400 right right okay the same thing if I will replace with less than all means means the value that is less than among all the values those I am getting from my inner query so less than all so what whatever the le uh, lowest value in that inner query so that 4, is 400 so the value will get that all will be less than that 4400 so similarly right. if I will replace with less than any so less than any means Smallest than the largest means all those values those are less than eighty three thousand something four right you are getting all those values right. those are less than eighty uh, forty three thousand eight forty three thousand eight right yeah so by this way you can use this multi value comparison operator as well as in any or point is clear yep okay. the next thing is the set operator 
the set operators. So, first set operator is union. Next is union on. Next thing is intersect. Next thing is minus. So, You have two sets. One is A. A is equals to 1, 2, 3 and 4. Right? And B is equals to 3, 4, 5 and 6. So, when I am doing, when I am doing this A union B, if I am doing A union B, union B so is everything all right yeah, yeah yeah okay so when I am doing a union B then one two three four five six right so uh, whatever the duplicate values are there means whatever the common values are there they will take in only once Next okay. thing is, if you are using A, union all, union all, all, and B, then the value will be 1, 1, comma, 2, comma, 3, comma, 4, and the 3, comma, 4, comma, 5, comma, 6. So whatever the common values are there means all value will be repeated. If right. right. Next thing is intersect A intersect intersect B. So the value will be whatever the common values are there. 3, comma, 4. So when I am saying A minus B, so the value will be whatever the common values are that need to be removed right okay if I'm saying B minus A then there will be 5 comma 6 okay okay so if I will go through with some graphical representation so with A union B this is one this is another right so I am filling with this this right this I have taken in this example this need uh, this uh, means in second uh, if I am second I am selecting second set then the common will uh, value will not be sec uh, selected second time so when I am saying this this for all right so in this case first I have taken this oh, this right and this in this case this will be selected and the common part will be selected also right okay when I am saying this intersect So what will happen? Only the common part will be selected. When I am saying this A okay. minus B, A minus B, A minus B, this is A and this is B. So A minus will be whatever the common part that need to be removed only. 
so this is the output of a minus b so when i am saying b minus a b minus a right in this case this is b this is b and this is a right in this case this is a and this is b right so in this case what will happen okay this b only only this b will be selected right okay so how you will implement this set operator in your database queries now you have two tables so first table is employees right second table is job history right you have only these two tables okay see the structure carefully once thereafter i will proceed okay okay so in this example you can see there are two things one is employees table is containing the detail of employees those are working at present right as okay. well as those people are on notice period so employees table are uh, employees table having two types of people information two types of employees information one is those are working second one those are on notice period right now in case of job history job history also containing two types of information two types of employees information one is those are on notice period and second thing is those are on those already left the organization right so okay. what is the what is the common between these two tables notice period employees yes the employees those are on notice period now my query is i want to uh, means a report of all the employees from the very first day of that organization to till date so what i will do okay i want the detailed report of all the employees from the very first day of that organization to the till date a union b a union b. employees union job history yes so i will write select employee id right and phone number and hire date and department id from employees right there after union and select employee id comma mobile number comma start date comma department id from job history right from job history now point to be noted why i have taken this employee id phone number id department id from first table why i have not taken this last name email or job id or salary like this because first rule of writing set operator query the number of column in first query must be equals to number of column in second query right okay first is the number of column should be same second thing is the corresponding data type of the column like employee id must be match with this employee id phone number must be match with mobile number and hire date must be match with start date and department id must be match with department id it is not mandatory that the column name must match but the data type must match okay right okay are you suffering from cold no okay so 
the number of column must be match second thing the corresponding data type okay. should also be matched right so here you can see why i have taken the answer of this is because there are only four columns there in second table to matching them i have taken that i mean only those columns those have the matching data type the employee id the after phone right. number there after the hire date and there after the department id right so the number of columns should be matched the corresponding data type should also be matched right okay so you will get the output union right so ed on similar way if i am doing all so you will get this means as both number of column will be added so how many number of column there 141 plus something 1210 right okay so 67 69 columns in job history table right so similar way okay. if i am doing intersect so i, I will get the column co uh, common column only intersect right there are 60 out of 69 in second table 63 are common in between employees and in okay. job history if i am doing minus so whatever the common columns are there they will be removed right so 141 minus 69 78 63 141 minus 63 78 so ed now uh, i will replace with this union now my question is i want to display the name of employee as well last thing what i will do what is coming in your mind uh we can add some dummy column in the second table yes we can add some dummy column like this no name exist so what i have did here i have just put a expression there i have just put a okay. expression there i have not mentioned that what what does set line so so you can see where there is no name because there there are no name in second table you are getting no name exists but this is not the right thing, right so you need to convert that to character to char to char right so you need to convert that value into character okay next thing is if you want to display the salary in front of department id yes so, uh, what is the difference means uh, just you just had no name exist and now we put the two uh, two correct there is there, so there is, will be the difference there is no difference but here you can say you have directly passed that string right oracle okay. implicitly uh, converting that string into character means implicitly assuming that that is a character that's why your query is running okay okay right so you you need to explicitly convert that training uh, that uh, string into right. character right. so next okay. thing is salary right the similar way you can write just put a zero here right numeric implicit conversion okay okay right? it will be displayed right here you can see zero you are getting zero right so even right. you you can write no uh, two number function as well two number right. so explicitly converted you have, you have explicitly converted that value okay right now my question is and this will the last question of this today's session I want to display instead of displaying zero here. I just want to display no salary exist. 
I just want to display here no salary request. Uh -huh, okay. Yes, this is my question. So what I will do? If we convert the salary into characters, then it will be the characters there. It will be not the correct salary. No idea. Your answer is right. Basically, what you will do? Really? You eh? Huh? क्या कह रहे हो? Hello? क्या रहे हो really? <laughs> yes, yes. Your logic is right. To carry, what you want to put here? You just want to write no salary exists, right? You just want to okay. print a string there. No. What you need to do? You just have to match the number of columns as well as the data type of all the columns. So you have written here a character string. So what you need to do? You just have to convert this salary into character string as well. To care. Right? In display, it is not giving you any other effect. Until you will not use any format model, right? So, if you are generating okay. any report, then uh, how it is concerned with whether you are printing that character or any number? So you can see this is means this is a character, but in display, how you are assuming that this is a character, or in in hard copy, how you will uh, assume that this is a character? You just have to mean with it that value only. Either it has printed in character or in number, right? So no salary exists is printing there. So point to be noted that if you want to print any character string, accordingly the corresponding column need to be converted on same data type. But on remember, uh, we can convert. We can get any. Uh, means the numbers against the characters like if a is like 64 is equal to 65 and we can convert the 65 into alphabet as well yes yes that there are two there are two function ascii and chr i have told you in last ASCII, yes, right. last week right, yes. that that right, was, that right. was some that was means different thing that was different functions okay right they they cannot be applied here as well. okay right, right? So you can see. Actually, uh, I I was worried that means if I convert to two character, it may be showing the the ASCII value of those uh, no, numbers no, no, instead no, of no the ASCII, numbers. No, ASCII value of what? ASCII value is for single character. So for that you we need to okay. use that ASCII ASCII function. So if you want to show any format model okay. as well, just write like this. If you want to show any format model, just like this. Dot. Nine nine. So the value and the separator will also be displayed there. Not getting, not coming. But yeah, putting two car, two car is the character, not the number. No, no. I need to put that in single quotes. Right, so you also have converted that into your format model. Okay. Right. So whatever the thing you want to convert, you need to convert from both the query in the both the queries. So today we have covered. Okay. Today, today we have covered the group by function, group function, group by clause, having clause. Thereafter, subquery. In subquery, uh, we have used multi-value uh, comparison operator like in any all. Thereafter, we have used that right. uh, uh, set operator union, union all, intersection, and minus. Right? And how to write them as well. Right. right? So today we have covered three topics. Tomorrow I will try to cover that okay. join joins. Okay. Okay. Is it a big topic? Uh, I think it will take one hour, one one hour fifteen minutes, right? Right? Okay.
ओके सो आई थिंक इनफ फॉर टुडे और राइट नो दैट्स फाइन पवन आई हैव अ क्वेश्चन आई इंस्टॉल द ओरेकल डेटाबेस 11g ऑन माय लैपटॉप एक्चुअली वन थिंग इज दैट आई जस्ट डाउनलोड वन zip फाइल एंड इट्स डोंट गिविंग मी एनी अदर zip फाइल आई नो दैट zip फाइल आई रन द सेटअप एंड आई डोंट नो मींस इट्स ओनली शोइंग मी द वन zip फाइल ओनली Okay, so, so you uh, have that, you have okay. downloaded 12c zip file. You need to download 11g zip file. 12c have only uh, one zip. When file. I when I installed it, it's showing me just a minute. If I it's showing me Oracle database 11g Express Edition. Okay, okay. You have installed Express Edition. So that that is also good, but that is only for this SQL purpose. That will not fulfill your uh, means uh, thing that are related to your uh that admin part but even okay. ad, for admin part we will we will uh, go on linux platform right so for the sql that is enough okay. you can do all your practice on uh, express addition as well so uh, when i run the sql command it's showing me the sql now uh, sql black screen mm -hmm. means how i connect to the hr uh, database or how i can connect to the other database what to do i now so so you have selected that sample schema in your database means when you are installing uh, i don't you, know means you have ticked that sample schema part so do uh, means uh, uh, do connect co double n like this co double n co double n hr okay or just write HR. so first of all write alter alter user alter hr user identity hr fied by hr hr is the password and account and identified unlock hr this is the command first of all write this command alter user hr identified uh -huh. by hr account unlock so you just okay. have to receive this message user not alter. connected not connected so you are It's not me not not connected yes you are not connected with the database so just you have to start your services as well from your uh, from here services okay right from here you have to start your services all your services which services telling you just you have to type oracle here right as many services you will see related to oracle all that has to be uh, run oracle schedule xc oracle yes. mts recovery service yes start all that be all on a auto all are started automatic or manual all are started no, one is disabled no one one will be disabled right but other ones should be started yeah. other one are few are manual status is blank you are running and automatic no 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 like start all the services actually so, i cannot do it i think i don't have the admin password right now so that's just it. just right click and start right click yeah, it's, it's showing me blank start is not active for me i think i don't have the admin right that's why maybe so who has installed that software on your laptop uh, i I download the software and go to my IT staff and I ask them I need to run this software. He run through the admin password. Oh. So that has installed on admin user or on your user? No, it's installed on my user. I can use it, but I think for this services I need to activate the services first through the admin and then it will give me the, yes, yes, the connection yes, maybe. Yes, yes, yes. So you need to ask with your IT people, right? You just okay. When I if, uh, see, see, start this or, see, when it will be started, then you will see the status started. Okay. Right. So all these services are manual. Either it is manual or automatic. Um, you don't have to bother about that. Just it is. It must okay. show you the status started. It started like this. Okay. Right. Just right click on that and start. right got it and after that after that that will be connected after that you just have to write that when the prompt will be connected you just have to write this command and alter your hr user okay. hr user will be altered and open and if that exist in your database means you have selected the sample schema part at the time of installation right 
right so hr in this case what you are able to identify hr is the username and hr is the password as well so when hr will be means the user will be altered then you need to log in like this hr slash hr so show user user you will be in hr scheme okay okay fine and another thing right now i will be in hr schema if i do i want to do the same thing with my office database what will be the procedure to connect with that one the same i have told to you you just have to see all that um, uh, connection is string and the tns alias okay for that uh, either you have to connect through vnc or citrix or any type of connection medium you need that you can you are able to connect with your uh, through internet to your database for that you need to take permission from your it people uh, actually uh, my it guy he don't know about the oracle uh, but for the excel he creates some OD, odbc data stores for see, for me so see, i can uh, access the database through the excel see 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 what i am saying my database is installed on my virtual machine right suppose this is your company's database okay. this is your company's okay. database now you can okay. see i have i have uh, created some connection string as well in this database here you can see if i will go to certain location right so my connection string is this you can orcl for orcl database this is my connection string this is showing me the my host name in my machine name right where i want to connect the port and the database name okay now okay come to my base machine this is my uh, suppose this is your laptop right and this is your okay this database this is on separate machine this right. is my separate vm now i want to connect with this particular machine first of all first thing i need to install oracle client i have installed oracle client in my pc this is my oracle client thereafter i have to create a local list, local uh, tns alias right that i have created okay. with this configuration migration net configuration instance the text file is on the server actually yes that is on server okay again i have to create a tns alias by using that client oracle client in my client pc this is my okay. on my laptop okay okay that will take some time to open right that has opened right here you can see i have created some okay tns see oracle ravi orcl pow right okay okay that already I have created now when i am okay. going to connect here is the prompt and i am connecting so what i will write sys slash sys suppose i am connecting through sys to my local sp or suppose i am connecting through hr hr slash hr okay. at the rate orcl okay tns no listener right so first of all i have to connect with i need to start the listener This is also getting record, right? Yes. Okay. Actually, I have created the TNS alias in this SQL developer. Why it is not connecting here?
No listener. Okay. Uh, actually, so I will add or reconfigure. What service I have you just yet? Wow. The network could not establish. Okay, Actually, listener is not working. Why? Maybe that has. Less NRCTL 
start actually i have started sql plus 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 oh my listeners actually yesterday my this laptop has been goes down improperly so mm -hmm. oh, that no problem take your time we can we can do it tomorrow maybe okay no 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 just a minute i just have to <laughs> 